in Austin? No. Uh, no? No, I own this city. You own this city? Well, I own a lot of this city. Um, no, I don't. I've been here a bunch, but um, but it's always great. It's always fun. It's also really nice because it's not a million degrees right now. I know. You came at a good time. Yeah. Right after the rain, it was nice and cool. Yeah. What do you love about Austin specifically? Well, there's a lot to love. But you guys have too much construction going on right now. I will say that. You I guys got to slow it down. All these tech nerds coming here? Nope. Go oh, somewhere else. Here, yeah. yeah, where should they go? Let's send them to a new town. Uh, what would you recommend? What's a town that we can really screw up? Like Cle Walla Walla. Cleveland. Oh. Ooh, yeah, Walla Walla. That's a good place. Um, it's got a good range to it. Yeah, no, I mean, South by is super fun because Austin's always a blast. I mean, there's like awesome food and awesome people and the cool thing about this compared to like Sundance Sundance is that it's just like super chill here you know it's more for people that really like watching movies you know it's not a festival just for people that want to buy movies and like executives in suits it's like for people like I just walked around the block and there's like a line of like 5,000 people around the block, you know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I just think it's more, like, fan-oriented, you know, and more for, like, people that love watching movies. Yeah. And speaking of fans that love watching movies, do you think they're going to love this film? If people don't love this movie, I would like to talk to them afterwards. I would like to have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with them. Because, first of all, there's an adorable cat in this movie, y'all. So if you don't like that, then get off the Internet. Because yeah. that's what the internet is about. It's so true. Yeah, no, I think people are really going to love the movie. I mean, the movie has, like, it's bananas, it's super funny, it's crazy action, and it's key and peel. Like, what else could you... Yeah, I would like to meet the person that doesn't like this movie. I'll be holding meetings in my van right after the movie. And where can they find that van? Oh, well, my van's right over there. The comedy world is like a small little mafia, so we've all kind of known each other for a while, and everyone kind of uses each other for different stuff you know like I did some bits on Key and Peele and they've been on Children's Hospital um, but yeah specifically I don't know how long we've known each other I mean Keegan and I know each other from way back like Keegan used to do a sitcom on CBS that I did like, with Jay Moore that I did some stuff on so yeah the, the comedy world we have a little mafia that you don't even know about so how does that play out with this movie what was the girl's connections helpful in playing this part yeah, I mean, I think so. I think, like, when you're making a movie, it's, um, I think there's a lot that can go wrong, and so I think it's, like, it's it's an easier um, thing when you can get people that you already like and you already have kind of a shorthand with. Keegan and I made a little movie in New Orleans called Hell Baby with Rob Corddry, and so we known each other from that, and I know kind of how to improvise with him, and so I think that just sort of helps in the production of the movie, you know, it helps like, I know what he's going for and you just sort of have a shorthand with the other person, which is helpful.